It's winter. Well, okay, depending on where you live in the world, it's winter. Where I live in Canada, we're heading into December and that definitely means snow days. What does that mean for you as a nanny? And do you get paid for snow days? That's what we're gonna tackle today. If we haven't met before, I'm Michelle Kelsey, founder of The Nanny Solution by Nannies on Call. Each week, I bring you new videos to educate and inspire you to get better jobs and make more money. So, snow days. Every year, at least in Canada and the US, maybe if you live in Australia, that's not the case, but every year, snow days come up as a hot topic of conversation. Do you get paid for snow days? How do you decide what a snow day is? It all starts at the very beginning. When you first get your job, and it's not too late if you work in a job, we'll, we'll discuss that as well. When you first get your job and you're negotiating the contract, and you live in a place where there's inclement weather, so it can not just be snow days, but heavy rains, tornadoes, hurricanes, all that crazy weather stuff that's happening right now. If, if that's somewhere you live, you need to talk to the family about snow days or inclement weather days. The time to start is before you need the day off because of a snow day, not on the snow day wondering if you're gonna get paid for it. So you need to start ahead of time. A couple things to keep in mind. If you're applying with a family that's a first responder, a doctor or nurse in emergency room, a lawyer that has to be in court, you are going to need to realize that these people, these families need to be at work. So your ability to take a snow day may be different than another nanny's ability to take a snow day. That's just gonna be the reality. So when you come into these situations, awareness of the type of job the family has and their requirement to go to work on these days is important for you to realize as well. Planning ahead can deal with a lot of the issues that are gonna come up. We generally know, we see the forecast that it's gonna be a heavy snow day. If the family has the availability to have you spend the night and you're comfortable spending a night, that might be a solution to you being at work first thing in the morning. You need to talk to the family about, are you gonna get paid for staying the night? What are the hours that you're working when you're staying the night? Does that change anything in the contract? These are all things to think about as well if staying the night is an option for you. Next, put it in writing. So whether you're already at a job and you're gonna sit down with the family and discuss what happens during a snow day or you're starting out in a contract, put inclement weather clause in your contract. Something to do with, will you get paid if there is a snow day? What are the terms around that snow day? Everything needs to go in the contract so it's really clear when it happens if you're gonna be paid or not. In the same realm of putting it in the contract is you need to define the day, define the snow day. Is it when schools are closed? Is it when transit's closed? Is it when highways are closed? What defines the snow day? Because if you live on the side of a mountain and the family lives in the city and you can't get off that side of the mountain to get to work, but the family can get to work, that is gonna cause problems. So defining what the snow day or inclement weather is and agree on terms around that so that you get paid for that day. Another thing to keep in mind is, sure, you might be able to get to work in the morning, but can you get home at the end of the day, right? Sometimes it's snowing all day and you got there fine, but at the end of the day, you are not gonna be able to get home. The transit shut down and you just can't get there. So that's another thing to keep in mind in terms of planning and setting out the terms of what a snow day is. Ultimately, like everything else, this comes down to communication. Before this situation arises, you need to have a talk with your nanny family and see, do they need to be at work? Will you be paid if there's a snow day? What are the terms of that snow day? And that way everyone knows what's happening and you know you will get your guaranteed hours, which we've talked about in other videos, and you will be paid the same as you normally are, even if the weather is crazy and you can't get to work. If you have a snow day policy in your contract, let us know below, comment below, and help other nannies to figure out what they should put in their contracts. I hope that helps, and stay warm this winter. See you next week.